Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples using constant multiple row. Let us take an example. And in this example, if y is equal to negative 3 over 4, x to the power of 12, like that, we want to find the first derivative of that, dy by dx. We want to de differentiate this function with respect to x. So, in here, if we want to find dy by dx, the, de the, the first derivative of this function with respect to x, we want to recognize that negative 3 over 4 is a constant. If we're going to pull that out, and then x to the power of 12 is we can use the power rule to be able to find the, de uh, find, find the derivative of that. So n here is equal to 12. So 12x to the power of 12 minus 1, nx to the power of n minus 1. So when we simplify this, it is going to be negative 3 over 4 times 12x to the power of 11. 12 minus 1 is 11. So if we were to simplify this some more, negative 3 over 4 times 12x to the power of 11. So 4 is in the denominator, 12 is in the numerator, so 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So therefore we can write this as equal to negative 3 times 3 is 9x to the power of 11, like that. So therefore that is our answer. This is where we want to leave it. This is our answer. Let's take another example. In this example, let us say we have a function of this nature. y is equal to 7 over x. x is in the denominator. We want to find, we want to find the first derivative of that with respect to x, dy by dx, like that. So in here, we can uh, rewrite the given function. What we have he here is y is equal to 7 over x, I can bring the x to the numerator and then write it out as follows. 7x to the power of negative 1, like that. And now, 7 is a constant term, and then for x to the power of negative 1, we can use the, the derivative, we can use the, uh, we can use the power rule to be able to differentiate it. So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to 7 times n is equal to negative 1, negative 1 x to the power of n minus 1, negative 1 minus 1. So therefore, when we simplify this, this is going to be 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, x to the power of negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So therefore, that is that is one way of representing the answer, or we can also uh, simplify this and then express the uh, express x to the power of negative 2 as a positive exponent by bringing it to the denominator as follows negative 7 1 over x to the power of positive 2 so therefore we can write this as negative 7 over x to the power of positive 2 so this is where we want to leave it this is our answer okay let us take another example this time, let us say, in this example, we have a function, I'm sorry, let me rewrite this as, we have a function f of t is equal to 4t squared divided by 5. And we want to find, we want to find the first derivative of this function with respect to t. So, we want to recognize that if we want to find f prime of t, or if we want to differentiate this function with respect to t, the constant terms here are 4 over 5. We take that out, and then t to the power of 2 is in the power rule format. Therefore, n is equal to 2. Therefore, we can write this one as 2t to the power of 2 minus 1. And therefore, when we simplify this, we can write this as 4 over 5 times 2t to the power of 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 
So therefore, we can write this one as 4 times 2 is 8 um, times t divided by 5. t to the power of 1 or t means the same thing. The power of 1 is implied in, in, uh, in, more, in math. So therefore, we're going to just leave it as 8t over 5. And therefore, this is our answer. This is where we want to leave it. Okay, so let's take another example. In this example, if we have a function like this, y is equal to 3 times square root of x, we want to find the, the derivative, we want to find the, we want to differentiate this function with respect to x. We want to find dy by dx. So the way to do that is as follows. dy by dx, the div, the the derivative of this function with respect to x is going to be equal to 3 is a constant. We'll put that outside. And then in here, um, x to the power of half, uh, square root of x, I can write as 3x to the power of half, like that. So therefore, 3, uh, when we find the first derivative of this given function, dy by dx is equal to 3, which is a constant. I'm going to put it outside. Here, n is equal to half, 1 half x to the power of n minus 1, 1 half minus 1, like that. So when we simplify this, this is going to be 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2. x to the power of 1 half minus 1 is minus 1 half, minus 1 half, like that. And now I can express it, express x to the power of negative half as a positive exponent by bringing it to the denominator. So 3 over 2 times 1 over x to the power of positive half. I can also write x to the power of half as square root of x uh, in terms of radical uh, terms. Therefore, 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 2 square root of x, like that. That is, a, that is, a, that is the correct way of representing our answer. Okay, This is how we want to be able to use the constant multiple rule to be able to solve simple examples um, simple examples in my next presentation we shall see the proof of sum rule followed by examples